So take, say, Latin America, particularly important to us. Our shadow's been cast there very heavily for a long time. Uh, September 11th atrocities were very harshly condemned, as they were virtually everywhere, but quite often uh, with a recollection of their own suffering. So in Central America, uh, perhaps the leading research journal is the uh, Journal of the Jesuit University in uh, Managua. They said the events of September 11th could be described as Armageddon, but added that we have suffered our own Armageddon in slow motion, referring to the atrocities of the 1980s, which was an international terrorist attack condemned by the World Court, as you know, and it would have been condemned by the Security Council if the United States hadn't vetoed it. And that was more serious than September 11th. Tens of thousands of people killed, the country wrecked, it may never recover. Uh, so yes, this may be Armageddon, but it's not new to us. Uh, in Panama, a journalist, a radio journalist, like others, bitterly condemned the September 11th atrocities, but added that we're familiar with it. Uh, he referred to the uh, attack, the bombing of the Barrio Chorillo uh, in November 19, December 1989, uh, when uh, uh, the United States invaded Panama in that one bombing, according to Panamanian sources, uh, several thousand people were killed in the poor Barrio. Since it's our atrocities, we don't investigate, and nobody really knows the details, but it was certainly serious. Uh, the uh, that invasion, that, that was Operation Just Cause, uh, undertaken by George Bush the first, in order to kidnap a disobedient thug uh, who was brought to the United States and tried and is now in jail, uh, sentenced for crimes that he committed uh, almost entirely on the CIA payroll. Well, they remember that. Uh, and others uh, refer to Operation Condor and the atrocities in the Southern Cone, again, international terrorism, because of the U.S. involvement, crucial involvement. Uh, and others speak of the international terrorist wars of the 1980s in Central America that left uh, hundreds of thousands dead, uh, millions of refugees and orphans, uh, four countries ruined. Uh, there were international Gallup polls taken after September 11th. Uh, con condemnation of the atrocities was near universal. On the other hand, it was, there were very few places where there was much support for a military reaction. Some places, in, uh, uh, apart from a few places, it rarely went above about 30 percent, rather uh, legal means, uh, the kind of means that Nicaragua attempted to pursue but failed because they ran up against uh, a more powerful force, namely us, that wouldn't permit legal means. Uh, in Latin America, support for military action was the lowest. Uh, the highest in Latin America was about 11 percent in Venezuela and Colombia. Uh, the lowest was 2 percent in Mexico. Uh, the essential fact that lies behind this was described quite simply by uh, Carlos Salinas, who directed uh, government relations for Amnesty International for many years with particular concern for Latin America. What he said is that Latin Americans know better than perhaps most people that the U.S. government is one of the biggest sponsors of terrorism, uh, and they know it from firsthand experience. Of course, it doesn't follow that innocent Americans should be slaughtered by terrorist gangsters, nor did anyone suggest that, uh, but uh, neither should other people, uh, and uh, the facts are not forgotten elsewhere.